Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link below. We're gonna work on this piece. Remember this one? Click the link now. So if you remember, I ran a contest on this sucker. The bathroom shelf. Oh, I ran a contest on this ugly thing. And you've all seen these before. This is a wicker bathroom shelf. There's nothing I love about this. This was a piece that um, when I bought the cabinet that got repurposed, I showed you, you know, repairing the legs and the door and the handle pole and all the good stuff that went along with repairing that $5 goody the woman had no change so this came along with it because i had a ten dollar bill and i wasn't going to leave there without ten dollars worth of stuff so i bought the shelf i don't love the shelf i hate the shelf so I, it needs it needs something and i ran a contest and anna um made some suggestions on how to do this this was last fall that's how long it takes me to get to stuff <laughs> And Anna's suggestion was to put a pretty paper on the back and um, paint it in sort of fall colors. And my only problem with the suggestion is that this backing on here isn't gonna wanna take paper too well. But I have a technique that I was thinking about. And it is a... Um, you may have seen this technique on Pinterest or whatever. It's a napkin technique. So because this is a very textured back, it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to just put paper on it, uh, a scrap of paper or something like that. Like if you had a flat surface, you could decoupage it on there, but this is very textured. So you're gonna see that texture in whatever you do. And um, I have some beautiful napkins that I think are really, really pretty. And I think they would do wonders on this. And the benefit of using the napkin technique is that it melts into those crevices. This, but it really gets into those cre those um, crevices and grooves, and it takes on that shape better, and it holds on better. So what we're gonna do is this thing is nasty. So my first order of business was. Again, the gouges. What were you doing to your bathroom shelf that you gouged the crap out of the top of it? I just, I'm mystified by some of the damage that I find on pieces. Like what were, what? What was on here? It is stained. Ugh. And dirty. The cobwebs in here gotta go. We're gonna extricate the, uh, the spider he's got to find a new home she I'm not sexist it's got to find a new home it needs to be cleaned it needs a fresh coat of paint for God's sake it needs a fresh coat of paint and I'm guessing I'm gonna go with spray paint on this sucker because it's summer and I can and that's a lot of crevices inside and out so I'm gonna decide on which napkin I want to use and then we'll figure out the paint color Okay, so we are definitely gonna go with the peonies on this one. And if you wanna say it peony, that's fine. Now the hardest part of the process is going to be removing this outer layer. Cause you can see I've done it on this one. You just want the pattern layer of the napkin. And there's actually three layers on here. Let's see. So I got the edge started so you wouldn't have to watch me uh, fight with this thing. But then you pull it apart, and you have to be very gentle. You want to get this whole thing. Alright, take that and that's going to be like a 
place to put our brushes. What you wanna do is make sure you know where your top is. So this is the top on mine up here, and this is the shelf. So I'm gonna make sure that my pattern is right side up. And I am only mentioning this because I almost did it wrong. So I've got my Mod Podge and I just went with matte because it's what I had and um, just a brush. And I get this into the Mod Podge and I did lay this out on a piece of plastic so that um, if any Mod Podge goes through the back, it doesn't get all over my floor. <laughs> Not that I've done that before. That's all we're gonna say. Oops. Just spilled it all over my floor now. I'm gonna get a good generous coat on there. Oh no, I hit the plastic. Yay, that's why we do that. See, I knew that was gonna happen. Good generous coat of the Mod Podge onto the back and you wanna get it in the crevices because we want this to just literally melt into that background and hold. So I'm putting it on really thick this stuff always smells musty to me. Anyone else? Mod Podge musty. I just coined a new phrase. Okay, let's get that in there. Like, get it in there. So if you don't, you're gonna get little bubbles where it doesn't lay down and it's just the worst. So I've got my piece and I'm gonna get this down to the bottom first. Ugh. Oh, this is uncomfortable. I'm gonna get that down in there. And this is not forgiving because this is so delicate, it is not forgiving at all. So if I'm in the camera frame, I apologize, but there's nothing I can do about it. I need to be looking at this because once it's down, you know, it ain't going nowhere. I'm just smoothing that up towards the top and it's taking on that shape of the background. Come on, lay down. And you don't want to pull it too much because this will tear. And if your hands are getting sticky like mine's getting sticky, you're gonna stop. I'm gonna stop playing with this because what'll happen is as it dries, it's gonna lay down. It's gonna lay itself down. So let's get that second layer on the other side. Isn't that pretty already? It's already pretty. Got a dry brush here and what I'm gonna do is push it down with the dry brush. Now I'm not brushing, I'm pushing. Push it down. Because I want it to get all up in those spots. So I am literally just tamping it down with the dry brush. Want it to take on that shape. And as it dries, it will uh, definitely take more of the shape. And we're gonna put the clear coat, like I said, over it, and that's gonna push it down even more. What happens is this uh, paper seems to like melt away when you do the top coat. I'm gonna just do it right now. And I'll put a layer of the top coat on for you. And you can see right away 
It's like the color stays there and the background paper just melts away. It's almost like a transfer, like a color transfer instead of a, a wallpaper. Because essentially what I'm doing is wallpapering the back with tissue, but see, it just melted away. That seam right there just melted right away. And you could do this with like a bunch of layers if you wanted to do more of a collage effect. I don't typically like that, but you know, you do you. You can use this technique and do that and those seams will just literally bleed away. So they just like melt into each other. All right, we're gonna let that dry, see if we missed any coats, and I'm gonna get the second shelf done. And there you have it. Don't you love the way it just gets the texture of the piece that you lay it on? I mean, it's so cool. When you have a textured piece that you're like, what am I gonna do with this? This is a really great option. And the napkins, um, you can find napkins in any color, any variety, any, you can do florals, you can do modern, you can do shapes. There are just any, Nap, can you find? You just peel that off and it turns out really super cute. I just love how this turned out now. This went from something I hated a lot to something I really like now. I, I don't need one in my bathroom, so I'm gonna sell it anyway, but it's super cute now. Um, one of my favorite places to buy napkins is Tuesday morning and that's where I got these. So you can get them for like $4.99 for a big pack of them. This would be cute on a tabletop. I've seen it done on a tabletop. Um, it gives you that really great uh, aged look when you do it on boards. You can do it on boards and then sand it away. So you get that sort of printed floral look on wood. So boxes, crates, things like that. It's just a really fun technique. And it's, it's unusual, it's different. I've done this on a footstool with the peonies and I actually sold the footstool already. So this'll be, you know, just another use for those napkins so thanks for watching everyone if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would appreciate it hi to all my new subscribers i'm so glad you're here don't forget to leave me comments down below i always appreciate comments and if you haven't yet stopped over to the website make sure you get over there for the furniture flipping toolkit thanks for watching everyone happy junkin bye Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.